Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Idaho's been hitting on all cylinders the last few games. They've ripped off a string of Ws, trying to extend that streak. But the key is keeping Big Mo on your side. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Chippewa River in Mount Pleasant, Michigan, the battlefield for this college football contest. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. The Vandals have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road. And win. Tackle at the 35. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. Second and two. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Taylor on the right side. Runs right for a nice gain. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Brought down at the 49. Gain of 12 on the play. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill. He scrambled. And he's sacked. Idaho's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now. And he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinator. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. He's hit and taken down. That's a gain of five on the play. Third down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Slings it. Tackle made around the 39 yard line. First down. From the 39 yard line. First down. They come out in a five wide set. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. Gain 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. This is the eighth play of this drive. Fires across the middle. They'll bring him down at the 11. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. From the 11-yard line, 
First down. He's tackled around the three yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Fires quickly to the tight end. Touchdown. A nice play as the offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Razorbacks come into today's game ranked number 15. The Razorbacks have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. The Razorbacks on top, 7-3. All right, thanks, Reese. Scott Scott sets sets Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the one. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Quick strike, and he drops it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 26. Some steam on that throw. He's taken down right around the 42 yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From their own 42 yard line, it's first down. to his back, and it's in and out of his hands. Thompson's the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. 34 to Mike, 34 to Mike. He's coming. Check in, check in. Watch out, watch out. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Scott's the intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Catches another, and he's tackled at the 47-yard line. Fletcher picks up about five yards on that hookup. Warren awaits the snap. And he's taken down at the 27. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Idaho is up a score. And he's immediately tackled. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And down he goes at the 45. Call the game in nine yards. First down. Watch the throw. Watch the throw. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. 
And he's taken down at the 42. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. From the 42-yard line, first down. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. Idaho's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Very good tackle in space. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Idaho is up by a touchdown. Run right and hit in the backfield. A good tackling safety is key for any defense. And if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. Some time. Tackle at the 34. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Idaho is hoping to make this a two score game. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he splits the uprights. As his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Brought down at the 33. Second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Call the loss of one yard. That makes it third and three. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line. First down. the middle that brings him second and five watch nine watch nine ready here we go quick strike to the receiver and they make the stop at the 38 And this play is number eight on the drive. That's a great.
great tackle at the 21. Now that's how you run a corner route. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. First and 10, ball on the 21 yard line. run there. Thompson gets six yards on the carry. Central Michigan's going to use their first time out of the half here. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Give to the running back and he's going to lose yardage. No good down the play. Third down. They're about four yards away here on third down. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an 11 play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So the score now, 10-7. They line up to kick this one away. Gutierrez from the nine. He's got the corner. Across midfield, knocked out of bounds. Around the 42-yard line. This one might be coming back, off. folks. Let's Clipping. check out the penalty. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way Still back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Idaho is up by three. He's out of bounds around the 23-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Black five, black five, yellow three, yellow three. They'll run it inside and tackle quickly. another carry he gets hit out of bounds around the 40 yard line first down 10 to go ball on the 40 so we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before half time he wants it all, going long. Got him again. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. A great first half comes to a close. 10-7, Idaho. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw, both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they tried to come up with. So to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run us a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. 
you know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. From the five-yard line. And he just got drilled. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. After positive yardage. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on their own 30. Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. That'll bring up third and six. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it, and he hits him hard at the 34-yard line. Call it again at four yards. Fourth down. This is a great punt-blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. It's a fumble. It's recovered. They are fortunate to get this ball back. This guy really needs to concentrate on securing the football. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Idaho has a three-point lead. Throws complete, he stopped immediately. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 28. That's a game of 21 on the way. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Off play action. Now he's on the move. He keeps it. Excellent open field tackle. From the 13 yard line. First down. He's tackled at the seven. About six yards on the play. He got just a little bit of separation from the defender, and that was enough room for him to make the catch. Idaho holds a field goal lead. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the three-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. Runs through a defender, and he's in. the PAT. A six-play, 54-yard drive. And 
And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Fletcher from the four. Brought down at the 25-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. Great play for the offense and a great call by the offense. But the defense has to change things up. They've got to put more pressure on this quarterback. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 30. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Gets it, he's in space. He goes out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. That brings up fourth and three. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Deep pass to the end zone. Doesn't get there. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Second down and five. Ball on the 33-yard line. Taylor gets a ball left side. He gets to about the 41 yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Key 15, key 15. That could be trash. Let's go. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. Idaho's got a 10-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Gets out to around the 48. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 48. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 40. And he's level at the 34. 
Gain of 14 yards. First down. From the 34 yard line, first down. Watch out here. Brought down at the 21 yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Tight end left, tight end left. Go down, go down. Go three to fight. Go, Nick. He fights forward to about the 20. That makes it second and 10. From the 20 yard line, it's second down. Get to that quicker, and he is drilled at the 10. Moses brings him down at the 10 yard line. First and this is the eighth play of the drive. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Touchdown, Idaho! Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big-time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he tacks on the extra point. An eighth play, 72-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Idaho ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Tosses across the middle to his tight end. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. Thompson was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. Number 55 with the tackle at the 36-yard line. That'll make it third and nine. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 34. That was a loss of two yards. That brings up fourth and 11. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Less than three minutes in the game. That's a great tackle at the 28-yard line. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. Gains his way to the seven-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Kill, 
Touchdown, Vandals! He makes the PAT. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Wolverines roll into this one ranked eighth in the land. And for Michigan, they're looking for their fourth straight win. And for McCarty, he's now got a couple of touchdown catches. Well, there's some talk this week that we might see some upsets this week. I don't think you can ever expect that to happen. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 30-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Just over two minutes in the game. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. hit immediately nothing going on that play well here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket that way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it fires quick to an open man he dropped it third down now and they need to get it inside the 42 Intercepted by the senior quarterback. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. First and ten. Ball on their own 24. He's tackled at the 33. That's a deep nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Green nine. Green nine. And they push him out the 39 yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Under a minute left. He's at midfield. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. That's a team 14 yards on the play. First down. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Three to the right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yellow, three. Gets to about the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Frazier's performance today, Kirk, it was just fun for you and I to be part of it, really. Yeah, really, just a campus legend, a guy that went out there and, and showed why he's one of the most dominant players in the country, and he did not disappoint anybody, including his teammates today. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.